Bowers and welcome to Marling Homeworks. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our partnership with the James and Hartley. When we were looking to decorate the walls in our showroom, uh, we thought about buying art or we're looking to supply it through some of our vendors. And then we had the idea that it might be a great partnership to have the James and Hartley get involved. We like that route the best because we can actually have local artists display their artwork in a home-like setting and people can see it in different light, much like their own home, and they can actually sell their art here at Marling Homeworks. Marling doesn't make a penny from this. This is all purely exposure for the local artists and again for the Jason Marling. Occasionally we get requests for people that are doing remaking a room, for example, and they're looking for a really unique piece. We have a, we work with a local artist here in town that actually does um, a center, kind of a center piece for the uh, vanity in their bathroom. And so it's again one of those things that we offer as a service to our customers. We refresh in the, the artwork periodically. The artwork comes in, uh, works with one of our marketing coordinators here. They look at uh, moving things around uh, and displaying new pieces as some of the ones that are here are sold. My name is Jan Hoops and I'm with the Janesville Art League and as Scott mentioned before we've been in partnership with Marlin uh, Homeworks for approximately two years. So we're having an open house and it's called Pathway to Art and we're inviting the community in um, on June 10th from 4 to 8 p.m. and this whole design area will be open. All the art on the wall will be for sale. But we're having interactive tables so that they can meet our artists personally and find different pieces of art that will teach them how to design them themselves. So one of the pieces that we have actually, or one of the tables that we have, they will actually leave with a piece of art that they've done. There will be refreshments available and other artists will come in and set up tables to display other pieces of art that they make, like cards, bases, whatever. We have a variety of artists that design many different things, and that's what we want the, the community to see, and we hope will join us June 10th from 4 to 8. We will also have live entertainment by Teresa Wynn. She goes by the name of Tess. And she's bringing a special guest of hers named David Bitters. And they will be playing uh, for us from 5 until 7. So once again, we're hoping the public will join us. We have a lot of artists with a lot of talent. And we certainly want to share that with this community. And it's a lovely place to be. You, the art just fits in here so nicely because it's just like home. So hopefully you'll, you'll come out and join us on Wednesday. Hi, my name is Lori Salmoni the Box, and I'm a local artist here in Janesville, and my work hangs here at Marley Homeworks. I work in many mediums, uh, stained glass, acrylics, melted metals. Um, I love to mix textures and different elements together to see what I can create. And I've also been lucky enough to be able to design backsplashes and drawer fronts, um, which you will be seeing. Um, and they're for sale here at Marlin Marks as well. I'm a self-taught artist. I've been doing 
acrylics for about, probably about three years. I took stained glass lessons here in town at Glass Garden about 13 years ago. Um, and I just kept progressing and opened up my own website. Just kept on going. designed. It's completely original. There was no pattern. Um, most of my stained glass pieces are done that way. I like to create the pattern so that everything's kind of one of a kind. Um, up here I have um, wood and stained glass polka dots on the wood for wall hangings. And then this is one of the drawer fronts that I was talking about. This is done in a tin and copper melted it's on wood, and then I have inserts of red glass. Um, it pops right off as any drawer front would. Um, and then we'll take you over to look at the backsplashes as well. Here's an example of the backsplash that I've designed. Um, this is a copper and black mix. It comes in four different colors. This is black, get it in copper, or I mean silver, copper, and then again this is the copper black mix. Um, also little designs can be put on it. Um, each design is completely different because the patina doesn't take the same way. Um, and if you need more details, just stop in at Marlene Homeworks and a salesperson will help you. Thank you. I just wanted to mention a couple of the other uh, interactive tables that we're going to have. One of them will be manned by uh, Carolyn Alexander. She not only is a painter, but she's also a teacher. And this is her watercolor. But on June 10th, she will have a demonstration on how to create a collage. And when you leave and when she's finished, you'll be able to go home and create your own art. She's a wonderful teacher. And I know that that's one of the tables that you will truly, truly enjoy. The other table that we have is done by Barb Matthews. And she also teaches art. She has her own classes uh, here in Janesville. And she's going to do acrylic and watercolor. And she's a very, very accomplished artist also. So thank you again for uh, joining in. And we hope to see you June 10th. I'm Nancy McKinnon, Janesville Art League, and today I want to uh, invite the people in Janesville and surrounding area to come out to the Pathway to Art, June 10th. It's from 4 to 8 p.m., and uh, with a variety of art in the Marlene complex and with uh, a lot of local artists, I hope that everybody can enjoy an open house, refreshments, music. And I have um, something kind of special that I'd like to talk about. I like to do interactive tables, and I am planning on doing some art, probably watercolor or acrylics, on a very small piece of paper, watercolor paper. And we're only going to use stick stones and credit cards. So it's kind of fun to teach people that anybody can paint, and um, there is a, a process of lifting your hand, putting out a credit card, which most people know how to do, except this time we're just going to move paint around on a piece of paper and you're going to go home with just a fun little painting. We'll mat it and put it in a nice little presentation. And I have a picture to show you. This piece um, I called Killarney National Park. It's a very, very small watercolor. It's matted in an 8 by 10 frame, simple to put into a already purchased uh, frame. And the only thing that is on that small painting is some dropped 
color onto a piece of paper, and I used a credit card to make little trees. This was an inspiration after a trip to Ireland, and that's how simple some of these things can be. You might just have an idea and have a landscape in mind, and if you come out to Pathway to Art uh, June 10th, we'll be happy to show you how, and you can take it home, and it'll be matted and ready to go. Thank you. On June 10th, I'll also be doing a demonstration table. I'm going to teach people how to do uh, mixed media, kind of a watercolor effect on canvas. I'll be using tissue paper, water, acrylic paint, and Elmer's glue, and it'll go on canvas. And you'll be able to see how I do this, and it'll only just take a few minutes to do. Hi, I'm Kurt Bugs. I'm going to be uh, doing a little demonstration of wood carving with traditional hand tools for Pathway to Art. I'm, I'm going to be uh, doing some fish and uh, duck decoys carved out of uh, Western Red Cedar, which is available at Marling Homeworks. <laughs>